Hello everyone, my name is Joy Ratnayaka and today I am going to show you another great feature of WSO2 Identity Server. If you have not heard about WSO2 Identity Server before, it is one of the first class identity and access management products powered by WSO2. Today we are going to talk about how to integrate Active Directory with WSO2 Identity Server with the outbound user provisioning capability. Uh, as an identity broker, uh, as you can see here, WSO2 Identity Server provides the capability to integrate with variety of identity management solutions. During my previous uh, uh, screencast, uh, I demonstrated how to connect uh, Active Directory as a secondary user store with WSO2 Identity Server. Outbound provisioning is a capability provided by WSO2 Identity Server which automatically provision or deprovision users into another uh, user store via WSO2 Identity Server. Today we are going to integrate with Active Directory so that we can create or provision users into Active Directory via WSO2 Identity Server. In other words, when a new user uh, created in WSO2 Identity Server primary user store, uh, which is an integrated LDAP, it automatically creates the same user uh, in the secondary user store, uh, which is Microsoft Active Directory in our case. Um, so, let me quickly uh, jump into my uh, demo environment. So, I have a Windows Server based virtual machine uh, here. I have already set up an Active Directory. So, let me go to Active Directory users and computers. So, as you can see, this is the same Active Directory environment I used in my previous demo. So, I have a domain called coop.com. Uh, I have an admin account called Joy, and I have few other sample users as well. Um, so, last time we integrated with this Active Directory using LDAP protocol. Uh, which is an insecure way of communicating with Active Directory. So, it does not allow us to create new users um, via WSO2 Identity Server in order to uh, enable user provisioning or creating users into Active Directory. You need to have a secured connection using LDAP S protocol. Uh, in order to uh, establish the uh, trust relationship between Active Directory and uh, WSO2 Identity Server, what you have to do is you need to uh, get the certificate from Active Directory domain and import it to Identity Server. So, let me go to Identity Server and log in using our default admin account which is there, uh, which is admin in our case. So, as you can see I have Identity Server 5.8.0 up and running here and let me go to users and roles and list list users. So, you can see all the users are listed um, all the users from Active Directory also listed here. Uh, so, this is the same demo environment um, uh, we uh, set up or we configured uh, in my previous uh, video. Uh, so, as the next step what we need to do is we need to get the certificate of the Active Directory. Uh, so, let me also show you how to create a new certificate. So, you can um, go to uh, IIS manager. So, here I have already installed uh, IIS. So, it is the default installation. Uh, so, when you go to IIS, uh, here you have option called service certificate. So, I have already created two certificates here. Uh, it is very straightforward. You can say create self signed certificate, give it a name and choose your personal store and say ok. Um, in your production setup, so you will be having a um, certificate issued by a third party uh, certificate provider. Uh, for the development purpose, uh, I have uh, for the demonstration purpose, I have created a self signed certificate uh, using Windows uh, IIS uh, uh, management console. So, once you have the certificate in place, uh, as the next step you need to export this 
so in order to export uh, you can go to certificate uh, management snapping so go to run type mmc select file add remove snapping choose certificate and i'm going to use computer account and here expand the certificates personal certificates and then you can see the certificate i have created so right click go to all task and imp uh, and export uh, click next next and here make sure you select base 64 encoded as a certificate type and then next give it a name so i have already exported this to save time so it is adfs cert 64 that is the name of the certificate with the .cer extension so once you have the certificate uh, ready uh, exported so as the next step what you need to do is you need to uh, import it to uh, identity server certificate store so let me go to identity server uh, setup directory um, and here you have repository resources and security so here you can see client trusto.jks so this is the uh, trust store or certificate store used by identity server so we need to import the certificate into this trust store so how we are going to do that is um, in uh, identity server installation folder you have a jdk folder already so when you go to bin directory uh, there is a tool called key tool um, so that is the tool we are going to use uh, in order to uh, get the um, uh, in order to get the uh, certificate in order to import the certificate into identity server so let me go to command prompt and here you need to run this command key tool import give it an alias and location to your uh, uh, certificate and then location of your key store and then the password for your key store so it is WSO2 carbon by default so when you run this command it imports a certificate into identity server trust store so you can verify by uh, checking with the uh, list option so key to list name of the key store and the alias and the password so let me show you yeah so i have already imported the uh, certificate into uh, trust store so as the next step what you need to do is uh, so now you have uh, established the trust between uh, wso2 identity server and active directory environment mm -hmm. So as the next step, you need to go to user store and you need to click on add. If you are adding it as a brand new uh, user store, uh, you are going, if you are going to add it from the scratch, select Active Directory user store manager and here you need to make sure you, need, you select LDAP S as the communication protocol. So let me um, show you the one I have already configured. So the difference between this and the previous demo is I have changed the port to 636. Uh, and the protocol is LDAPS. So here we have the fully qualified domain name. This is the machine name and the domain name and admin user account, users and the domain name, password of the admin account, right? And uh, object class for user is user. And in the optional category, I have enabled read and write groups. And also I have provided the group entry object class as group so that's it um, uh, and you need to say okay uh, so i have the connection in place so now i have a secured connection between my identity server and active directory uh, using ldaps protocol um, so let me uh, show you the active directory users so i have set up users so i'm going to create a new user now using um, the user dashboard so you know um, uh, wso2 identity server ships uh, a user portal or dashboard 
So, not only sign in here there is option for you to register for a new account. So, let me click on register option. So, I am going to use fully qualified name of the domain and let us say new username is Nancy. Proceed to self register. So, now you need to provide the uh, default uh, or mandatory uh, uh, fields. Let us say password uh, is and the confirm password. Uh, need to provide an email so that you can uh, verify the email. Let us say um, wso2 use at gmail.com. So, it is a use uh, this is a email that I have created before okay, and register. So, it says confirmation link has been sent to your email. Let us say close. Um, so, let us check my uh, email. I have already uh, received an email. So, let me uh, get this link and uh, enter here. So, my email is successfully confirmed. So, now let us go to um, uh, list users option in my um, identity server. So, here you see there is a user called Nancy already created and let us go to active directory. Let me refresh my users folder. So, you will see here there is a new user called Nancy. Uh, so, whenever you create a new user into your whenever you user whenever you provision a new user into identity server, it automatically get provision inside the active directory via the outbound user provisioning capability. Uh, so, so after that you have the same set of capabilities which I demonstrated in my previous video. So, you can uh, change the properties, you can change the uh, email, department, uh, uh, all these user properties uh, from both then. So, you can change it from identity server or from active directory and, and it reflected a real time. Um, so, that is how you configure uh, outbound provisioning uh, between uh, identity server uh, and uh, Microsoft Active Directory. Um, so, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, will come with another uh, cool feature of identity server uh, in another video. Thank you.